Hello and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 on the Sony PlayStation. Um, I'm playing this using my real PlayStation and my capture card because I couldn't get the emulator to work properly. Um, in this series I'm going to be playing through all four scenarios. Um, I'm going to start with Claire A, then I'm going to move on to Leon B, then I'm going to do Leon A and then finally Claire B. Um, I mentioned at the end of my Resident Evil playthrough that I would try to get my Exploder cheat disc to unlock the Hunk and Tofu scenarios. Um, I couldn't manage to do it. Um, I couldn't find a code that worked, so I won't be playing through the Hunk and Tofu scenarios. Um, I think to unlock Hunk we need to... Um, or rather one needs to... Um, play through two scenarios and get A ranks uh, for both, I think. Um, and to unlock Tofu, I think we need to complete the game six times and get at least two or one A ranks, I can't remember. Um, either way, I'm not doing that because, um, as I said in my Resident Evil playthrough, I'm not an expert at these games and I really can't be bothered to learn how to get, um, how to get an A rank and everything. So this is just going to be uh, this is just going to be all four scenarios um, on normal difficulty. Um, like my Resident Evil playthrough, even though I didn't die on that, um, I did say I might. Uh, there is a possibility that I might die on this. Um, I think I nearly died a couple of times on Resident Evil. So as before, I will try my best. Um, there'll be no save states, of course, because um, I'm playing on a real PlayStation for one thing. But I won't do that. Um, I wouldn't do that anyway. Um, let's have a look at the options. Here's the title screen. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's put um, new game, and we're playing on normal. <clears throat> okay, this um, so this is Claire's disc, disc two. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. And Barry? But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Oh dear. Don't forget Barry and um, Rebecca. Anyway, so, uh, so this is uh, the beginning of Claire's scenario. Claire A. Creepy. Sort of reminds me of the beginning of Day of the Dead. Finally here. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Don't shoot! Get down! 
We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Okay, let's pause it quickly. Um... Um, a couple of things about the cutscene. Um, like the last game, if that zombie were eating, you know, and his prime motivation is hunger, that's the only reason he attacks people. Why did he get up? Why? Because he already had a meal. He can't be that fussy. He's nearly brain dead. Well, literally brain dead. Um, secondly, um, no, there isn't a secondly, sorry. Okay, let's go. Now, the pause button just pauses it in this game. The circle button gets the options. Okay, we have the gun, um, 13 bullets, and we have the knife, and we have the lockpick. Um, now, someone asked me in one of the parts of Resident Evil, uh, left a comment for me, um, asking, um, asking if I'm going to be um, going for Brad. Um, which means not picking up any items before I get to the police station, except for the herb, of course, in the um, uh, just outside the police station. Um, yes, I am. Um, originally, I thought it was too difficult, but I had some goes on it, and it's actually quite easy. Um, 13 bullets is enough, really. Um, I will show you where the handgun pickups are, though. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so run past these uh, zombies. That's it, lovely. That's it. Okay, over here. Lovely. Let's see if I can use the. No, I can't use the uh, the, uh, the analog stick. Oh, of course not. This isn't a dual shock version. Although you know, it, um, it might still be analog. Anyway, so, uh, so go over here. Go inside Kendo's gun shop, and then this happens. Walk forward. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Whew. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay, talk to him again. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. 
I'm keeping a close eye on things. He says that better in Leon's, uh, um, in the Leon, Leon A scenario. Um, he says, I thought you were one of them, you know, because that makes sense, one of them. But in this one, he says it wrong. He says, I thought you were one of them. That doesn't make any sense. One of them, i.e. one of the zombies. That's how you should say it. Um, so he says it better um, in the Leon A scenario. Yeah, there are some, uh, there are some handgun bullets here. Um, I'll show you where they are, but I won't pick them up. I think even if you look at them, it stops you getting the um, stops Brad from showing up. There's one over here, uh, the red thing just there, and then there's one over here. If you pick these ones up, the ones there, he immediately uh, zombies start attacking Mr. Kendo. So let's just leave. Oh, it, do it does it anyway, even if you go there. Yeah, uh, you can kill the zombies and get his bolt gun, but there's no point because we get one later. Anyway, just leave. If you didn't um, go behind that counter there where I just was, um, you would learn that he is uh, that he's been killed by walking forward a bit, and then you'd hear it uh, just about now. But yeah, um, I always feel sorry for Kendo. Oh yeah, this bit. Now there's some handgun bullets at the end here inside the inside the back of the van. You have to do that to get them to open the gate for you. Yeah, there's some in there, but don't get them. I think there's 15 in each pack. Right, let's kill some of these zombies down a few of them because we need to get past come on all right that's him done can we get in here yes ha 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 didn't lose any health that's very rare i don't lose any health there and i'm really pleased i only used a, um, a few bullets yeah we don't like this bit going to the police station especially when i'm not um, picking up any handgun bullets okay might be some handgun bullets in the bin, I can't remember. Probably not, I'm leaning towards no, but I don't want to check because it will negate the, the, the Brad thing. Yeah, because if you don't pick up anything on the way to the police station, apart from the uh, the herb outside the police station, um, there'll be no zombies just outside the police station and Brad will be there. There's some handgun bullets in the bin there, definitely. Right, let's just go over here, quickly go down. Might lose some health here, I apologise if I do. Yes, go down, Claire. Quickity quick. Yes. Right, where's this zombie? Yes. Wow. That this is this is really rare. I'm doing it without getting touched. I'm I'm amazed. Really rare. Right, there's some zombies eating another zombie. Or dead thing, whatever. Again, why do they get up if they're already feeding? Don't understand. I mean I I'll just reiterate, they can't be fussy. I mean they're literally brain dead. How do they know? Okay, there's some handgun bullets just behind us. Don't bother getting them. Well, if, if you want the Brad thing. Okay, kill this critter. Okay, uh, just down this one quickly. Yeah, okay, then run past. How many bullets do we have left? We have one. Right, we can't kill any. Uh, uh, we can't get rid of any more. No need to kill him. Just run past him. Yeah, he's up again. Alright, now just the last group of zombies to get past. I always think this is one of the hardest bits of this game, really, apart from uh, near the end. Okay, go this way, then this way. Come on, can I do this without getting hurt? Come on. Yes. This is very good. Oh, yes. This is amazing. This is the, one of the few times I've done this without getting hurt. I'm amazed I did that. I always, always get hurt there, usually. Okay, now if you did that right, there will be no zombies in here. You can't go down there. You can you can still kill these zombies, but you can't go out there again because she says it's too dangerous to go back outside. So if you did that right, there will be no zombies around here apart from Brad. Yeah, um, Brad from the first game is here. Uh, you only find out how he got turned into a zombie in the third game, so we'll do that later. Anyway, I'm not going to kill Brad yet because he takes a load of hits. He's holding a special key or something which uh, which gives us more costumes and it's important to do that with Claire because you get a really good gun if, if, if you get um, uh, the special costume and the special key and everything. But Brad takes loads of hits. You can only really kill him quickly if you... If you manage to if you manage to down him and then uh, and then let him chew your ankles and then kick his head off, so that's what I usually do. But unfortunately, with Claire, we don't get the shotgun, so I can only do that when I get the grenade launcher. And then I usually take his legs out and then let him crawl around and then kick his head off, and then he's dead. Otherwise, he takes loads and loads of bullets. Um, you can actually find out uh, that you can do that. Um, I actually found out myself by. Um, 
Um, I completed the Leon A. Claire B. scenarios, and I didn't bother doing that. I just ran to the police station and um, picked up the bullets and everything. Uh, those bullet boxes only give you 15, by the way. Did I mention that? Um, and if you do that, and you didn't, and you didn't, uh, um, and you didn't get Brad to appear, it will say at the end. It will show you a picture of of, of the uh, of the downstairs area of this place. It will show you a picture of it, um, and it will sh it will, sh um, it will show you Brad, and it will say. Um, Brad's wandering around somewhere. Um, find him and get a special key or, so, or and get a surprise or something. And then it says something like, "It'll say where." Um, it'll say that um, um, get to the police station without picking up anything. And then uh, that gives you a clue on how to get it. But that's how you do it. You just have to get to the police station without without picking up any of the bullets. But there is a herb in here. This one doesn't matter, of course, because Brad's already here. Anyway, yeah, so that's that explained. But yeah, Brad's just down there. He can't climb stairs, so don't worry about him. But I, uh, I'll take care of him when I get hold of the grenade launcher, which won't be for a while. Anyway, inside the famous police station, the weirdest police station on the planet. I mean, just imagine that, uh, that you're in the police force and you're trying to get a criminal, I mean, just arrested someone and you're bringing him through the doors and you have to take him past all this nonsense. Yes, I'm just taking you to the cell, but admire the artwork along the way. I mean, what kind of police station is this? I mean, if they're going to convert an old art gallery or whatever it is into a into a police station, at least take, at least get rid of all the art. Anyway, enough of that. That's the last time I mentioned that, but it, yeah, I mean, it's always annoyed me about this game. Anyway. Here it is. Okay, you will find all the doors are locked. The, uh, the door over there. Yeah, that's locked. I, w I won't bother checking. It'll just say it's electronically locked. And there's a door to the left of us. That's locked as well. Electronically locked. I'll, actually, I'll show you what it says. Or what it reads. It's electronically locked. There we go. The only, the only door we can, go, uh, we can go inside is the one up there. Also on the left. Anyway, there's a statue thing here. What does it say? says, it reads rather, an old fountain, something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart, I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. Yeah, so we can't uh, do that yet because we don't have a unicorn thing. Okay, there should be some handgun bullets here, which are well earned after not um, picking up any. These ones will give you 30, I think. Yeah, as opposed to the ones outside, which give you 15. Although I think other boxes after this one give you 15 as well. So let's... Let's reload to get used to the controls a bit because it's now the circle button that uh, and the triangle. It's just a circle that gets the options, the, uh, the menu, and the triangle that gets out of it now. Okay. There's an ink ribbon here, I think, maybe. Yep, here it is. Yep. Let's pick up the ink ribbon. That's two of them. Uh, anything over here? No. Now we can't use the computer yet. So I'll show you that later. But I can't be bothered to, uh, to show it. I'll show you it after we can use it. Yeah, because we need a card key. But yeah, on the emulator, I tried. I tried loads and loads of different ISO images and fiddling around with the emulator. But many times, about 20% of the time, I'd say, um, when going from one area to another like this, uh, sometimes uh, the game would freeze and crash. And that's it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work. And I couldn't really play it like that unless I used loads and loads of save states. So, so I decided just to use my capture card, which is slightly lower quality because I'm having to play through it using the capture card and the, and the uh, the software that plays it on my laptop screen. Anyway, um, go in here. This is the only door that's available at the moment. It's a little, uh, small cutscene. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. 
in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Always annoys me how he does that. Why can't we search in that room for the survivors? Why does he lock the door behind us? And how does he have that much... You know, I mean, how... If he's in that much pain, how did he get up and lock it so quickly? And, and I always think his voice doesn't fit what he looks like. You know, it doesn't look like that voice comes from somebody who looks like that. Anyway... Now we have the key card. Let's have a look at it. A plastic card. It reads Hall Electronic Lock. Okay, let's go and use it on this computer. Will you, um, will you use the computer? Yes. Door lock service. Hall side door locked. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Will you use the card key? Yes. The blue card key, rather. A checking up ID card. Right, let's unlock that, and let's unlock that, and oh no, that's it. Uh, hall side doors lock released. Brilliant. Okay, um, okay, don't go inside this. Well, in my opinion, um, don't bother going inside the door over here for ages. Um, first door you want to check out is over here. Um, most of what we do for. Uh, um, for now, anyway, will be done in this door. I won't be going inside that door for a while, I think. Anyway, so go inside this door. Okay, and there's an item box. We'll have a look in that. Uh, have a look at that in a sec. Okay, um, police memorandum. Um, eighth. I mean. The 23rd of August, 1998, because Americans do it the other way around. Um, this letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. Uh, the safe with four digits, um, uh, the safe with four-digit lock, um, that should be with the four-digit lock, has been moved from the Stars office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. Uh, 2236. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. It um, has its own liaison department. Anyway, so remember 2236, but it's in our files, so the police memorandum has been filed. Okay, so 2236. As far as I know, that never changes. It's always 2236, so you never have to read that again, really. Um, in other scenarios, I mean. Right, let's have a look at this desk. Uh, the desk is locked. We'll use the lockpick. Yeah, uh, Leon has to use the dreaded small keys. Yes, uh, but luckily with Claire, she has a lockpick. Yeah, use a lockpick. What's inside? We have sir, uh, a, a first aid spray. Uh, I'll try not to use these. I will try my hardest, but I'm not promising anything. But yeah, they do lower your rank for some reason. I've no idea why. I've no idea why they lower your rank and, and herbs don't. Who knows? But yeah, but I did use some in the first game, but uh, I'll try not to. Okay, let's put the ink ribbon away. Let's put that nonsense away. Definitely put the knife away, because that's... You know, uh, we'll never use it, let's be honest. Um, let's keep the herb on us. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Is this thing anything? No. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the room, uh, opposite the glass, it's the room that had M Marvin in it. There's an office over by the reception desk. Hello, Marvin. Open the door, stop being a dick. <gasps> Did you see that? Yes, we all know what's coming. Uh, I personally never kill these things until much later in the game. Just run away from them. They're a pain in the backside to kill. I mean, really. Right. There we go. Yeah, I think that this camera angle is one time only. Now it's gone. I don't think we can get it back again. 
Um, the body does have um, handgun bullets on it, so make sure you pick them up. What's this business? Um, an open close switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Okay. All right, let's check the body. Uh, the head is missing. The head. What about his head? It seems to have been twisted off. Lovely. He does have some bullets, though, so make sure you pick them up. O only 15, though, but... Right, that's it, there's no more. Okay, let's uh, let's get the famous cutscene. This door's locked. It's locked, a spade is etched under the keyhole. Yeah, like the first game, there, there are four keys to pick up. Uh, spade, heart, club, and diamond. Alright, let's have a look at this. a lovely creature. It's the stuff of nightmares, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get out of it. See you later, mate. There is a herb. I'll just be going back there uh, since the uh, uh, since it'll reset the room, so I'll just go back. What's in here again? Oh, yeah, this hallway. Yeah, I remember this. Alright, okay. I'm, I'm just going to get that herb because I like to get that herb, but I, I, never, kill, I never kill this liquor because... There's no need to really, he's easy to get past. Um, liquors are blind, but uh, so they can hear you, so it's best to walk past them unless they're really close, and then at the last minute, if they're about to hurt you, just make a dash for it really, for the door. Yeah, it's easier than you think. I remember when I first played this, I just ran past them and wondered why they kept uh, hurting me so easily, but it's because you're supposed to walk past them. Okay, now... Coming back through here, the first time you come back through here, there'll be zombie arms coming through those um, windows, boarded up windows. Be careful you don't get grabbed by them because they can grab you and drag you outside and that's an instant kill. Uh, that only happens once though, so once you've um, avoided them the first time, that's it, they never come back. Um, and I think for these windows as well, the ones just here. Uh, there's no point going in there yet because we can't actually um, get what's in there. I don't think Claire can find any ammunition in there, in there, in her, in her, in the Claire A scenario. So there's no point going in there until we get the lighter. Um, Leon, instead of the lockpick, already has the lighter on him. But uh, the the lockpick is um, is better than the lighter. Once we get the lighter, we only use it a few times. So uh, the lockpick is better. But yes, yeah, some zombie arms will come out here, but that only happens once. So once you've avoided them the first time, you never have to worry about them again. Okay, there's some zombies in here. I'm, I'm going to get rid of them, or at least most of them anyway. Let's do this. Okay, this one first. Get past her first, then turn around. She's already had two bullets, so... Three, four, right. There we go, it's the end of that, I think. Remember, if the blood comes out, that means they're dead properly. Whoops, that's a Resident Evil uh, thing, because the pause button gets the items. In this one, it's the circle button. Alright, yep, combine with that, and we've, we've reloaded. Good. Okay. I'll kill one more. Where is he? Here. Oh, no. There's one right in front of him. Is he properly dead? That one hasn't activated yet. I think they're properly dead, yeah. Okay, let's reload. And then let's reset the room to put the other zombie back to where he was. Exactly 30 bullets, quick. And then, yeah, let's reset the room. And then put that zombie back to where he is. Because I, I don't like to kill lo um, many at the beginning of the game, like the first game. Because at the start of this game, like the first one, um, ammunition is sort of scarce. But we get loads of it later on. Okay, he's over there now. Right, can we get past him? Yep. Oh, no. No, that's annoying, isn't it? Can't believe it. That's the first time I've been hurt in this. I'm still at green fine, though, so it's alright. That's annoying. Oh, well. It was inevitable. If he hurts me again, I'll have to kill him, because that will start annoying me. Alright, let's go inside this room. Alright, this is, the, uh, this is uh, uh, the second save point. The first proper save room. I always get unsatisfied listening to this music because it's slightly not as good as the one on Resident Evil 3. Uh, they, uh, 
they're very similar sounding, but I prefer the one on the third game. Okay, now here is what Brad's key is for. Um, it's locked. A special kind of key is required. Yeah, we don't get that until we kill Brad, but because uh, Brad's holding it. Uh, so once you kill Brad, search his body, and then that will have the key on it, then you can open that. But uh, We're not going to kill him until we get the grenade launcher. Um, right, there's another ink ribbon on here, yep. Lovely. There's some bullets over here in one of these locker things. One of them. Nope. Yes, there we go. Let's get them. Another 15, so we're back to 32. There's something to read here. Um, Operation Report 2. I think the first one is in the, yeah, where, the, where we use the lighter. Um, Operation Report, September the 28th. Early morning, 2.30am. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including me. I don't like that redundant reflexive. No need for it, it's including me. Uh, because the subject of that sentence is we... And so the we, um, uh, the reflexive pronoun for we is ourselves, and it's not. Um, nothing's happening to ourselves. Nothing's happening to we. It isn't doing anything to itself. So there's no need for that myself. It should be me, including me, because you haven't said. Um, you haven't said I'm including myself. It's we. You know, the including myself is separate. So it should be including me. When will people stop doing that? Anyway. Um, we failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival. Uh, oh wait, and hope, and hope for our survival continues to diminish. Um, we won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. Now, the only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free from any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. The operation we bought two has been filed. Okay. Now what's over here? What's this nonsense? I can develop film here. Yes, when you get some film, you can develop it there. Uh, you don't need to do it to complete the game, but you know um, it helps with the story. Anyway, let's get some ink ribbon out and save the game because it's beyond half an hour. Let's put these herbs away. I have enough of them. I don't need one yet, even though I have been bitten. Okay, that's that. Um, let's save the game. Oh yeah, I need the other ink ribbon, don't I? Now in this game, you can actually they improved on Resident Evil Two, um, Resident Evil One rather, because you can uh, you can put items on top of each other like that. So I'll just put the the ink, ink ribbons in the box on top of the ones that I'm holding. So now I have four that I'm holding without having to get them both out and then combine them, which is handy. Anyway, let's uh, save the game. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes. But like the last game, ink ribbons are scarce, but I think I know where they all are. Okay, we're going to be using memory card 1. And, yep. Uh, Claire A01, first save, dark room. So thank you very much for watching. Um, in the next part, I'll be continuing to explore the police station. Thanks again, and goodbye.